Hello, uh, this is Nara from Plato Designs. Today we are going to talk on how to create an horizontal calendar for free on Canva that you can sell on Etsy, Amazon, or even your own website. So we are on the Canva website right now here, and in order to create a new design, either we go to custom size or create a design. I'm going to go right now to custom size. This is on pixels, I'm going to convert it on inches. Then I'm going to type 11 and 8.5, which is going to be our size for our calendar, since this is going to be horizontal. So I click create a new design, and this gives me a blank page. Now in order to make the margins, I go to file, then I go show margins, then I have my margins in here. This is one way. The other way is to go from the top all the way down. And this is the same. And then from the left all the way to the right. And from the left all the way here to the left. So I create my margins in order to know where I'm going to put my stuff. Now, let me go to elements. And then I'm going to type tables. This is an easy way to create the calendars that Canva provides us this service. Since we don't need to start from scratch. Now, we only have one, two, and three squares in, in, the, in the top. In order to create the seven days of the week, we need to add columns. So we have one column. And we got five. Then we got six and one more to create seven. This is for the seven days of the week. Now, to create the complete uh, month, since there are a couple of weeks, we need to add rows. So then I'm going to add one and then I'm going to add another one. So I have already here. Then I'm going to bring it to the left and to the right in order to create my calendar. If you feel like you need to fix it, then you put a little bit more up. Then I move this margin again. So this is. Now let me bring from elements again and a square, which is going to help me to start typing my handwriting that I'm going to create for my calendar. I go from the left all the way to the right. This is in black and I'm going to convert it in white. Then I'm going to go position, then back. Then I have my, it's ready, my template ready to start uh, creating my days and my month. Now let me go to test. I'm going to bring one of the tests in here. Let me move this out of here. And then I'm going to start with the day of the week. And make sure it's in capital on. And then I'm going to uh, start typing the first three letters of the day. And let me change the font. Let me go Calistoga. And I'm going to decrease the size. Um, let's see, 25 maybe. Yes, and I'm going to bring it all the way here. Let me bring one of the margins just to know and to make sure that this is all the days are going to be level. So I create my first, then I duplicate, then I'm going to bring it here, then I'm going to duplicate, duplicate, to create my seven days okay let me accommodate them since i'm gonna start writing monday the first letters then tuesday wednesday Thursday, as you see, I'm just writing the first three letters of each uh, day 
Friday. And then, of course, we got Saturday. Okay, let's accommodate them so we don't leave them like this. Let's move this one in here a little bit to center. But since I have my margin, I know that they are uh, level. Then I move it here. And last Saturday. So then I got my days. Then to create the month, I go again to test. This out of here again. Then um, let's choose a month. In my case, February. Let's go to font. Let's change it to Caristota. Then let's bring it all the way up, making sure the center and the margins is going to help me anyway. And this is the first template. Now, in order to put some type of background or decoration, then I'm going to go to Uploads, and then I'm going to bring from my collection this beautiful background. That's going to help me here. Let me expand it. And all the way here. And then I'm going to go to Position. Then I'm going to send it back. Then I have my background, my first background. If you don't want the background and just a little decoration, then I'm going to duplicate this. Take it off the background. And then I'm going to print this little box and since it's February it's gonna help for the this lovely then I'm gonna duplicate it bring it to the right flip put a little bit more maybe a small to the left and here we go then we go and take it out the margin so you can see it more better. How we are doing this. We go to file. Remove the margins and then we have either this way or this other way with the background. Thank you for watching. Hope uh, this helped to create your calendars now that the new year is coming. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.